What's going on guys, Big in here. We are back with Fix Your Game. Now I get sent clips like this all the time. All the time I get clips like this. But if you were to take this shot 10 more times in a row, we would hope that the goalie's gonna make that save. And he probably would. I can't recreate this goal. It was bad luck. Should have happened, no. But it was bad luck. Check this one out. Off the draw comes in. Ovi scores. But the ref is waving it off. The ref thinks I kicked this in. Full kicking motion. Check this out. Here we go. Ovi coming in. Boop. Off the skate and he scores. <laughs> Refi waves it off though. That's a terrible call. It's the wrong call. That was not a kicking motion and it's no goal. But I can't recreate that. I can't send that to EA and say, fix this. I guess they could send back and say, yeah, it's fixed because I can't recreate it. We're talking about the glitch wrap today. You know, top player. We want to show the glitch wrap today. This can be recreated all the time. And that's an actual problem. Something that probably shouldn't happen that you can recreate at any given time during the game. Watch the goalie bounce off the post. That's the biggest problem here. Look at this, boom. Why is he bouncing off the post while the player is behind the net? You can see there, you don't need to do a full wrap around, but I mean, that's usually how it's done. Check it out, boom. My critic said, Bacon, you're just whining because you can't do it. Well, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of clips here of me doing it, but watch the goalie bounces off the post. Why is he bouncing off the post there? Now I know you guys are sitting there right off the bat. Yeah, but the bacon slapper was a glitch. Okay, I could show you hundreds of clips of the bacon slapper, bacon wrister in the actual NHL where guys are sniping from sharp angles. But if you can show me one clip, just one, doesn't have to be two, doesn't have to be 10, just one where the goalie bounces off the post as the player's still behind the goal line. Look it, I'm sniping from behind the goal line. I just kind of fake him out. Bring the lube. Yeah, you're getting glitch wrapped. Sniping from behind the goal line. The goalie shouldn't be bouncing off the post like that. And that's why I call it a glitch. I think it's a goalie animation flaw, which can be fixed. I can recreate it all the time. It shouldn't happen. Why is he bouncing off the post? There's no way I could go far side there. And the top players are using it. The top players are using it. All it's doing is promoting the skill zone because if I was in the skill zone right there, it would be so easy just to drop down a couple feet and throw a poke check on and you would never score there. Whenever somebody tries this against me a couple times, I just play the skills on a little bit and as they go around the net on the forehand, you just gotta block it. So that's how you stop it. So there is a benefit to this video, right? Not only are we hoping that it gets fixed, but at the same time, if a guy keeps going for a glitch wrap on you, just drop back in the skill zone a little bit when he's got pressure in your end. And then if he goes around the net on the forehand, just block it. Look, this is not the same as the glitch wrap, by the way. I'm coming way out there and sniping short side. That makes sense, because I could have shot far side there. Same with this one here, watch this. This isn't a glitch wrap, going five hole. Is it a little bit frustrating when that happens? Yeah, sure it is. But he is letting me walk right out front of the net here. Right out front of the net. He's letting me walk out there. Not a glitch. That could actually happen. That does happen in real life. Same with that other one where I walked way out and sniped your short side. But when you're sniping from behind the goal line and the goalie's bouncing off the post like that, it just doesn't make sense. There's no reason for the goalie to do that bounce out. Maybe they're trying to stop the old bacon slapper. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is, why they did it, what they're trying to shut down. But like I said, I just think it's a goalie animation flaw. Anyways, if you guys support that this right here, the glitch trap should be fixed for NHL 18, be sure to hit that like button for me. We'll see you guys soon. Top player!